So we got another project at Guthrie Motor Works in Public House. Got this Chevy Silverado 1500 that uh, won't move no matter what gear you put it in. And uh, looks like the input shaft might be broken. So I've already got the transmission out. Got it over here. It's an NV3500 transmission. Uh, Spins. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good. I'll tell you what. Let me stop this. Um, my punch is, yeah, we've got a bad input shaft. So I'm going to take this thing apart and see what's inside. So I turned the camera back on. I want to let you know how I got to this point. First thing you got to do is take two screws out of this. Remove that take those screws off which is going to be here take those off and that allows you to get to this c-clip once I remove that c-clip I should be able to remove all these screws all the way around remove this top screw and this bell housing should come off we hope we hope yep all right to give you an update I would suggest before doing any work on an NV3500, buy a good set of snap ring pliers. Because that guy right there will be the most frustrating thing to deal with if you don't have a good pair of snap ring pliers. So now I've started uh, taking the bolts out of the case. Uh, Got to take this one out as well, this top one. All these around here. Got my air wrench on there. So I will turn this back on when I get all the bolts out. Alright, we are back. After a lot of wrestling, I tell you what, this has been so fun. Got it cracked apart. Uh, this guy. Right here. Basically comprises of this indent, the spring, and this cap. So I think the tool to get this off is like $180. Uh, I didn't need it. I used a screwdriver. Just popped it in there, pried it out. Uh, so, you eh, might get lucky and be able to get it out with a screwdriver. So uh, I'm getting ready to uh, pull this case the rest of the way off and see what happened to this transmission. And we are back. Check this out. There's supposed to be gears in there. They are completely smooth. Wow. So, that's what happened to this guy. Ooh-wee. Man. So I'll see if I can't get the uh, gears out of this thing. And see. Okay, so here we are back again. Give you an update on this transmission. So as you can see, I went on ahead and purchased a uh, jig, a little fixture off of eBay. And when I'm done, I'll just put it back on eBay and sell it and get uh, some of my money back. Hopefully, hopefully all of it. So it's supposed to line everything up, and you can slip the case over the back of it, and holds everything together. I had to stick the, those pliers down there. It called for this in the installation manual, but apparently this is the wrong part. It raises that cluster gear in the back too high, and I can't get it together, so I just had to use anything to get in there, which is a pair of pliers. So I'm going to try to drop this case over here, and here's your guide if you've wondered about this, this retainer here. Because how are you going to hold it in place and line it up? Well, you line it up this guy run it through that hole and okay. then you'll be able to take it out whenever it's finished all right let's see how this goes so hey YouTube this is the final update on this NV3500 transmission repair uh, give you a couple pointers here you could make your own jig to hold all of the gears together in the tail shaft housing as you disassemble it but I would recommend getting the right one and uh, I can put the part numbers and everything 
in the instructions below and it comes with these spacers for the correct transmission for some reason this was not correct it was too thick and it worked anyway I just took it out and, and used something else so this guy is your retainer bearing retainer guide so you will screw this into your bearing retainer and when you slide the tail shaft over it it will come out of one of these holes here or on the other side so then you could pull this back put your bearing retainer bolts on there and then remove this put the last one in it's worth getting one of these you could probably make your own tool uh, it is a trick to get this together as you're sliding uh, the tail shaft housing over your gear cluster your re reverse gear when you get it about halfway on you have to put your reverse gear in there bolt it down and then slide it on the rest of the way now your this bearing retainer guide as it's sliding down I use this top bolt hole right here to, for the retainer you'll have to take your finger kind of work it around to get it to go through the hole and then it'll drop down just watch your fingers kind of sharp and let's see what else that's about it I would uh, would recommend downloading the the manual for it so you can refer to it if you have any questions I referred to mine quite a bit just to make sure that I was putting stuff together correctly and it's not too bad this is what was in it Little, little horn out there. A uh, little bit of issue. And it now has a new input shaft and cluster, cluster gear. And it's almost ready to go back in. I did uh, kind of damage my C clip taking it out. So I ordered a new one, it'll, it'll be here today. So hopefully this thing will be back in the truck in the next day or two later hey guys I have another useful tip when you're reassembling your NV 3500 uh, when you have all your gear stacked up on this thing and uh, what I would do is there's a pocket bearing down here for the cluster gear right there as it's sitting on this assembly I would take that pocket bearing It'll only go on there one way to where it kind of recesses, kind of sits on the gear a little further. Now, if you get it uh, the other way around, whenever you're trying to assemble your transmission and you're try tightening up your a bearing retainer, you'll notice that the, the, the gears will get jammed and it won't turn. More than likely, that pocket bearing is flipped the wrong way. Take it back apart, flip the bearing over, and uh, you can use wheel bearing grease, just pack it full of wheel bearing grease and it'll hold it in place while you slide that tail, that housing over your gear cluster. So, another reminder, or a tip, another tip.